Open. It's day one coverage. I'm Luke Elvey and I'm with John McCarthy. Thanks, Luke. Our next golfer on the tee currently not qualified for the Web.com Tour Championship, and that can put a real dent in their dreams of uh, one day competing on that PGA Tour. Hopefully, we'll see them climb up a few spots after this event's said and done. Yes, the Web.com Tour is always a development tour. The players are aspiring to get to the world's biggest stage, the PGA Tour. And to do that, they've got to finish inside the top 75 on the money list at season's end just to get into the finals. And then from there, anything's possible. Thanks, Luke. Looking forward to comparing notes later on. And this one's about six feet away. And the par putt drops. And starting today's round off at even par. And now teeing off on this par four. And he can't be too happy with that shot. to save the par. And finishing this one with a good putt. And he's gonna stay right where he is, even par after that one. And now the third hole tee off. This could be good, he's heading for the green here. All right, he's on the green. And this one's for birdie. And a nice putt. And one under for the day after that hole. All right, here's the fourth hole. And it's looking like this is bound for the short stuff. And uh, I apologize, looks like that shot uh, actually ended up in the rough. Eleven feet to the cup. Ooh, and it just, just misses. And this for the par. Nice little putt. 
And after that, we'll they'll stay right where they are in eighth place on the leaderboard. Okay, and here is the fifth hole. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. Well, that was an unfortunate approach. Just too much club. And this to save par. Ooh, that looked good. And this putt is for bogey. And now we're gonna take a look at the leaderboard. And after that hole, he will go up to even par. And that means he's also tied for 11th spot on the leaderboard. And now setting up for this par five. Well, this one's looking pretty good. And it looks like it's going into the deep stuff. And he's taking this one through some branches. Fourteen feet away. Solid putt. And he's moving in the right direction, moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Okay, and let's see what the seventh has in store. And a promising looking shot here. Okay, about 140 yards to go. Going with the nine iron. This one's about 26 feet out. Oh, I thought that was gonna go. And this putt is four par. Ooh, that was very close. And about seven feet to go here. And that one drops for the bogey. And our leader today currently on top of things with a round of four under par. And now setting up on this par three. And here's the three wood. And that's not what they wanted on their approach. Just not enough club on that one. And this putt is needed to save par. And one over for the day after that hole. Okay, and on to the ninth. Yeah, this is looking fairway bound. And about 105 yards to the pin from here. And that approach is safely on the green, but a uh, whole lot of work to do for that next putt. This one's about a seven footer. Oh my goodness, that was close. And this putt is for bogey. And a good putt. And Luke, we are through nine. Tell me this, what are you seeing out there today uh, as you make your way around the course? That's a tough day for this player. Already outside the top 10 and stumbling. I'd hate to be them at the end of the day. Let's get back to it. And he can't be very pleased with himself after that. And that shot is back in the fairway. Oh, 
And I think he's going to like that. And this for the birdie. Oh, I thought that one was going to be in. This one's about 10 feet away. And this one is for the bogey. And our leader today is sitting at three under par. Okay, now moving on to the 11th. And here's the six iron. And I think you'll like that. And this one's a 36 foot putt. And this for the par. Ooh, I thought that was gonna go. This putt's about three feet away. And uh, that hole uh, is going to result in him moving down in the standings. And moving along now on the 12th hole. And he's probably going to like that. And about 185 yards to the pin. And I think that's the hybrid. And this putt is for birdie. From 20 feet out. And this one's for the bogey. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And after that one, he's uh, unfortunately going to be moving down in the standings. And teeing off on this next hole. Wind could be an issue on this one. And, uh, well, I guess we're about to find out. And that approach is on with a uh, lengthy putt coming up. Oh, that was, that was very close. This putt's looking to be about two feet. Currently sitting at five over for the day. And setting up now on the 14th hole. He appears to be heading for the fairway here. And about 155 yards out. Poor approach shot there. And that's to be expected, unfortunately, in a wind like this. 12 feet to go here. Oh goodness, that was, that was almost in. And this for the bogey. And as we look at the leaderboard today, the uh, score to beat is currently at three under par. And setting up now on the 15th tee. Well, I think he's gonna like that. And about 130 yards to the pin. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, that's not very good as far as approach shots go. Unfortunately, not enough club, I think. And to save the par. And a nice putt. And after that hole, he is moving up on the leaderboard. And now setting up on the 16th tee. Something seemed off with his swing on that. Oh, 
and back into the fairway, about a hundred yards to the pin. And about 17 feet to the cup. And this putt is for bogey. And that one will drop. And after sitting at seven over par. And now setting up for the par four. Yeah, I think this one's gonna find the fairway. And uh, I wish my prediction had have come true, uh, but that actually ended up in the rough. Well, I think this is going towards the rough here, folks. And about five feet to go here. And that one will drop. And it looks like he uh, moved down in the rankings after that hole. Teeing it up here on the 18th. And so with that swing. And he's taking this through some brush here. Well, that one was hit out of some very, very deep stuff into some not as deep stuff. From 29 feet out. And this for the bogey. And finishing this hole out with a solid putt. And as his round comes to an end, uh, nothing in particular blew me away by his performance, but uh, curious as to your thoughts, Luke. Yeah, well, they managed to get a score out of this one, but it wasn't outstanding, was it? So much golf left to be played, though. If they can just get a 